Good morning. Thank you so much. You know, it's 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 great for me to be be back in Washington, and and all the words that have been spoken this morning uh, remind me of how important the work that all of you are here doing is. And and for me, I want to speak very briefly on on fear. You know, there's so much fear mongering happening around issues of arts funding and arts education that it, those of us who are going to speak towards this issue need to um, be just as vigilant in terms of our creativity and responding to this fear mongering that's going on. Um, for me, fear stands for false evidence appearing real. Um, <laughs> Fear is false evidence appearing real. I, I, on my TV show, CSI New York, I deal with a lot of dead bodies, so I, I know a lot about false evidence appearing real. Uh, I, I, I work over, uh, I'm doing a scene and, I, and, and, and I'm working over a, someone who, who appears to be dead and I'm trying to figure out why they and how they died and, 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 and the director will yell, cut, and that person will stand up and I'll jump a little bit. I'll get a little scared <laughs> because uh, they really seem to be dead. But they're dead because of the, they, 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 at least they seem to be dead because of the magical artistry of the, the makeup artist on our show or, or, or the acting. And that's really what we're seeing right now when it comes to this issue of arts education and funding. We're seeing makeup or false evidence appearing real, um, people putting out misinformation, convincing individuals that there is no value in funding the NEA or funding arts and education. I personally am, am, am the product of the public education system, and public education is, is my mission. And, but for the arts funding that happened in my school, much like what Kevin spoke about, um, I would not have been able to attend Brown University. I would not have been able to graduate as the valedictorian in my department. I would not have been able to then attend Harvard Law School and also get my master's from the Kennedy School of Government. I believe that everything that, that I've achieved in my life is by virtue of my public education in this great country and also the arts education funding that came along with it. So hearing someone like Congressman Lewis speak and, and remembering that when he uh, went across the Edmund Pettus Bridge and faced dogs and, and bullets and, and beatings, um, the type of fear that he must have experienced was, was, was not false evidence appearing real, it was real. And it is our duty in our fight, uh, much like what Bobby Kennedy said when he said, the future does not belong to those who are fearful of bold projects and new ideas, but rather the future belongs to those who can blend passion, reason, and courage to the great ideals and em enterprises of American society. Um, so as we go out there today and we blend this idea of passion, which to me means energy, reason, which means critical thought, new ideas, and courage, which all, to me means heart, uh, use your heart, speak from your heart. And don't allow fear mongers to stop you spreading this message. And most importantly, let's continue to be creative in the way we articulate our message in terms of the importance of arts funding. Thank you, guys.